Hello everybody, it's Caroline. How is how is everybody today? Wow, it is freezing, as everybody knows, this crazy weather we're having. So nothing better to do than craft, which I love. Now, so I left off with this particular series with my uh this stage of the page here. And it is it does have some raised bumps so what I'm doing is I've actually started and I'm just taking some sandpaper here I have some scrappy sandpaper two kinds and I'm just going and lightly giving it a, a sand just to get rid of some of the it's still raised but there's some sharp edges I guess is what I'm trying to say so I'm just lightly doing that Oops, and then I have, just have a towel here that I'm spritzing. Not really wet, just damp. Acting as a tack cloth. That feels pretty nice. Yeah, okay. Have a little bit of dust on here. There we go. Well, one good thing about freezing weather is that it's... We have had most of the day sunny today, so that's good. My hands are very dry. I'm sure everybody's skin is really dry right now. And the other thing I did was looking for a fo focal point because I certainly know this isn't going to stay like this. And uh, I have had this, these two pieces from a, an art book page that I had had out in my file folder for a little while. And I'd like to just... Um, take off the edge here, make it a bit less straight, harsh. I mean, this, that's, that's not too bad there at all. With my new tear ruler that I made, it's holding up pretty nicely. I didn't do the, uh, the big, the big edge big meaning gouges like uh, this is more of a fine serrated edge and then I will try and do that one too just haven't done it yet okay let's see here yeah the first thing that came to my mind was flowers I'm just into that that frame of mind. Flowers on my mind. Okay. So before I do anything though, to like, I'm not just going to glue it down like that. I would like to do something more to this page. And I'm thinking about it as I go along here. As I Get my edges a little rougher. There we go, that's better. Yeah, looks good. Okay, so now I just have to come up with what I want to do here. Now, because I'm going to stay on the brighter side, uh, but I do want to you know, keep the blue more in the background. So I have to think about what I'm going to do. I keep rubbing my hands. I think I need a little bit of, a little bit of cream here just to not make them so dry. All right. I'm gonna use the Wild Honey Distress Oxide. I really only have, I only have three Distress Oxides. I'd like to get different colors. 
just haven't haven't done that yet. I do have other inks or um, ink pads that I use. So anyway, I'm going to try this. I'm going to go over, see what happens. a little bit still pretty pretty turquoise I love that color I just think I need to I need to do something I'm gonna see here this one's gonna go up here because it looks like it's hanging down and like that so I need to do just thinking with you all right, brought out the handmade stamp that I used in my Defemerember journal. And now I'm going to, well, why not use the finger? <laughs> that sounds awful. Finger tool. Continuing experiment. Well, that's that's cool too. Let's overlap a bit. visit and made it home just in time to get warm and cozy <laughs> for this freeze that we have going on everywhere right now it's not just here it's everywhere some places a lot worse than others and we're we're not even that bad where we live Maybe we get our fair share of uh, extreme weather conditions, but this isn't one of them right now. It's cold enough though. All right, let me see this one from above. Have to let that dry a little bit. Just keep placing this down to see like that, yeah. Okay. And I am going to do some more stamping in there, probably with some, I probably will put some black or um, some dark, some dark brown.
see how that works. Love it so far. I'm glad I put the stamp with the black on the black ink all over. I do like the look of that. And I'll have to let that dry. Okay, I'm using my Stabilo All. And I'm going around the edges. I'm very, very happy with this for something that I had no clue, which is most of my my finished work. It's like that. Just hit my knee. <laughs> What I'll do here like that. Bunch it up a bit, maybe. See how that looks. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, I do like that. Well, it's been, this page has been fun because I got to, uh, I got to use some products that I haven't had out in a while to see if they're still viable. 
and my Podget, which was the generic brand for the store that we used to have here in Ontario. I'm not sure if it's in other provinces, but they went out of business around here anyway. I'm not, again, I'm not sure for the other provinces, but uh, I was pleasantly surprised at how that worked. Oops, let's take a look here. I like that. I bought some Posca pens, paint pens, and I haven't used them yet. Never used one. <laughs> So I'm not sure how this is going to work. I think I got it working. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay. So fun. Never used one of these before. Yeah, I do like that. Let's do some down here. Very textured here. And the only thing, okay, let's see here. If I, if I go, Yeah, I don't think I'm going to outline it in white. I was thinking that might be something to do. But I'll just keep it like this. Is there anything else I should do? Well, I might look for something, another a word or something. Just took a clump of thread. I 
think I'll add that down here. It's right here. Now the butterfly that I had cut out earlier, I'm going to cut it out all together. It's got part of the wing missing down here. the colors actually pull I think that is perfect sticky fingers and all I'm going to get some more thread. Right here. We have lots of cracking because we live on a hillside and we are literally built into rock. And uh, with this freezing, it's going to be very cold tonight. With the freezing going on, all we hear is the rocks cracking. When we first moved here, didn't click in that that's what it was and sometimes we thought you could have sworn somebody was breaking in and virtually I don't want to say impossible because everything's possible but where we live it would be a stretch <laughs> I think I'm very happy with this. Why do I always say I think? I am very happy with this. Yes. I had cut out some numbers from one of my magazines that is getting quite thin now, which makes me happy because you know, when you look at a magazine, you think, wow, there's a lot of things in here. Anyway, so I cut it out a while ago and I'm using it today because today is the 3rd of February. So that's going to go. And I like the colors. What I'm going to do first though, because it is the 3rd of February. Where's my black pen? I'll just write on the circle a little more info because I don't have any journaling spots on here. I could add a tag later. I may, I may not, not sure yet. Um, let's see, I can write on here. Feb, third, 2023. It's very light, but that's okay. There we go. I can see it. And I just have to find a spot for it. I 
we'll keep using keep using Elmer here. Did I smudge it? I don't think so. Take a look at that. I'll just have to put these down a little bit here. February 3rd. And I'm also going to my name on it. And move this off. Move this off. First official page finished. And I'm very happy with that. As always, if I see something that needs to be added, I will. I'll let you know as we go along. I believe the next thing I'm going to do is work on the, the back cover. This needs to be covered up somewhat. Pocket, tuck spot, something like that. Belly band, I'm not sure yet. We'll figure that out. But in the meantime, Thank you for joining me. Thanks for coming along in this big adventure because <laughs> it was a big adventure, big experiment. And don't forget to stay crafty and stay cozy. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.